Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm doing an oracle card guidance again and I'm using the same cards as I've used for the last two weeks uh, which are Chuck uh, Spezzano's cards and it's called Karten des Lebens and I've really enjoyed using them. I feel that they are still quite appropriate for the energy that we have at play and uh, as we come up to the new moon at the end of this week uh, the energy shifts and some of you may have started to feel that already and um, things have gotten a lot calmer or things are about to uh, be resolved so to say and you might have uh, felt that as well so today I, I've decided to use the same cards because it feels very much like the same energy as the previous a uh, few weeks and I have uh, three very different options for you today I have uh, option number one which is this it's a Castanian um, yeah and uh, option number two which is just a, a glass bead and option number three which is the rose quartz here all right so go ahead and make your selection I'm going to begin the reading so for those of you who've chosen the option number one we want to know what is your oracle guidance this week? What is your guidance? What is it that you need to take care of or look out for? And we have the card Leuchtender Stern. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything else that needs to come up. And we have Evachen. Um, I think this card's come up already previously. And we have Hus. So for those of you who've chosen the chestnut here, we have three cards this week. We have Leuchten der Stern, uh, which is basically a brighter star or a more uh, a luminous star. We have a Wachen, which is to awaken. And we have Hus, which means to hate. Um, so... Basically, I feel here that as we go along in this week, the message for you is to to work towards that which is brighter, to guide yourself to that, to be to allow yourself to be drawn to that which is light, and just to focus on that, just to move towards that, and not to let anything that is darker thoughts or uh, any negative emotions or any um, a bitterness or feelings of hate or feelings of dissatisfaction cloud your way forth as you go ahead in this week. So I think it's important to almost like guide yourself um, by the star, by that which is enlightening, by that which is awakening you, by that which is helping you see uh, a better space and a better way forward. So it feels here that... Um, the, well, the advice is to to move away from that which is still uh, bothering you or still working on your nerves or still irritating you or bringing your energy down in any kind of way um, and, and not to focus on it. You might not you might find that the problem has not necessarily been resolved, but for you. It's not such an important thing anymore. For you, the focus has shifted. For you, you've moved away from that uh, which plagued you so heavily, perhaps in the last couple of weeks or previously. I think here it's almost like there's a realization that comes to the fore. It's almost like you have this this sudden awakening and you you can allow yourself to work towards that which is better for you, uh, which is which is actually um, more um, a lighter energy, a lighter energy and something that's um, more forgiving almost. I feel like it, this week, if you can't do that, if you find that you are constantly coming back to thoughts that are um, distrustful or coming back to thoughts which are not serving you, coming back to anxieties and worries, then you need to actually take some action to overcome that and to ensure that that is not the way it will continue to be that's not going to be the status quo and uh, you you need to find a way to overcome that because sometimes it could be just a habit you know sometimes it could just be a way of thinking about things because you are used to thinking about things and um, and it casts a, a negative light upon your life 
even if it it's not ne- it isn't necessarily true that there's something negative in your life it's just a way of thinking that you've gotten used to that is making you believe some things which are not necessarily true so i feel here it's there's this huge emphasis on allowing yourself to be guided allowing yourself to work towards that light allowing yourself only to be absorbed by the light and those positive thoughts and the light energy as well as the uh, the easiness of this it doesn't have to be difficult it doesn't have to be heavy or intense it can just be light and easy and um and easy to navigate through and i feel that um yeah for this week there's going to be some kind of enlightenment like that there's going to be some kind of uh awakening to the idea that things can be okay and that one needn't worry about things one needn't worry about how it will turn out or what one needs to do so for me the energy or as i pick up this i feel like um the last couple of weeks or last two to three weeks might have been quite hard for you it could it might could have been quite slippery for you uh and this uh, been a lot of um opportunity to heal during this time and you might have been able to heal or you might not have been able to heal but what i'm getting here is that it's not important because right now you are entering a a new pathway or going through a portal where those things are not that important anymore and you're going to know that it's going to be okay regardless of whether uh it's the world shows you that or not there's going to be a sense of knowing there's going to be a sense of something coming from within you that's going to assure you that it's going to be okay as you go ahead at least for the next few weeks uh or months all right so that's my message for you for those of you who've chosen the chestnut today and i wish you a very lovely week as you go ahead for those of you who've chosen this uh glass stone here be asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance what have you come here to hear what is it that you need to hear right now that is going to help you to go ahead Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we have three cards here today. We have the first, which is number 20, and the card Krieg, um, it's, it means war. Then we have the number nine, which is a falsche Geisteshaltung, uh, which is basically the, the wrong mindset, or having a false mindset or having the an incorrect mindset. And we have the card 91, which is Schopferischer Geist, which is basically... Um, um, Please forgive my pronunciation to the German speakers here. Um, yeah, which is basically coming into more creativity, coming to a space where one is more comfortable with one's creative aspect uh, or developing a, a, a creative spirit, so to say. So I feel here that you're looking for clarity. You're looking for the clearness. You're looking for a space uh, where things are simpler and where it just is what it is and it's not it's not a matter of having to work through stuff or having to uh, wade through murkiness but simply to just have it be clear and simple and for it to be the way it it has to be for it to be the way you intend it to be and I feel here that there's been you've been fighting with yourself around this. You've been having difficulty uh, with yourself, and perhaps also maybe in some situations with others around you, because it, you haven't been in harmony, and you've been struggling to be, maintain that harmony. It's almost like there's a sense here that you don't understand why there isn't harmony, because you feel clear in yourself, and you're wondering why can't you just have it the way it needs to be? Why does it have to be so complicated? And I feel here that um, the well, the message here rather is that you need to change your mindset in order to be more free, to be more creative, to be more um, to find to heal yourself in a way to be able to bring more healing 
ideas to yourself because right now the state of mind that you have is is too stressful it's too it's too you're too stressed you're too uptight you're too tense you you're not relaxed enough you're not enjoying any longer you're not in in joy you're not in that vibration of of ease and um you know you can't fight any longer you can't fight with whatever it is which is false outside of you or you know what you deem to be false or what you deem not to be okay um the or you know the message i'm getting here is uh, it's okay to see something as not okay it's okay to recognize the injustice but sh shall that injustice create an an imbalance in you um the, it feels to me here that a lot of what's been going on outside of you has somehow invaded you and become a part of you and so the idea here is to be able to free your mind free your your soul free your spirit free your your being so that you can once again experience what it is to be free or to remember again who you are and how it feels to be happy and how it feels to enjoy and and how it feels to simply breathe okay so I think here that um, the way in which you need to find your way to the space again is to be able to identify where it is that you've been thinking about this in a way that has perhaps skewed your vision and to take time out to think about it uh, out of the box, to think about it in a different manner, to approach it from a different perspective, perhaps a bird's eye perspective or perhaps, you know, put yourself in the shoes of another in order to be able to understand their perspective uh, or simply to to challenge yourself to think about things differently and sometimes it's very hard to do that because you're quite convinced of the way in which you think about something and then to think about it differently is almost a, um, a betrayal unto yourself and I think here there's a sense that you you need what you need to be doing is moving to a space where you're feeling more at ease or feeling less stressed or less in conflict uh, with yourself or with those around you uh, because this is actually depleting you and 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 um it's yes it's robbing you of what you are and um and perpetuating an idea uh, about the situation that you're dealing with that is false or that is not entirely true or that is maybe just one side of the story is actually not going to help you to free yourself from the situation and to work towards a better state of being. All right, so then it's quite a specific message and I'm not sure if it applies to all of you, but I would, the one thing I take away from this um, for the second option here is that what you need to be working towards is that which is purer or that which is calmer, that which is um, healing, that which is almost... Um, something that's going to extract you from your exhaustion extract you from your from the space that you've been in it feels to me like you know you've become depleted or exhausted or just you know um completely empty in a way uh from the stress that you've had or you've 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 given so much you've you've given up so much of yourself that you it's you're finding it hard to, to remember how things could be different and so there's almost an emphasis here on being able to focus on how things can be what is your idea how could it be ideal um you know take some time out to breathe um and to breathe into what is what could be ideal even if it seems like it's not possible right now even if it seems like it could never be possible allow yourself to have thoughts about what can be or what could be or what you desire and um yeah, and that and that's gonna help you shift the energy or bring more, integrate more of that energy into your life, and uh, and just bring a little bit more peace and calm and um, a more relaxed feeling to yourself. Um, I feel like here like I want to take another card for you, and I am just gonna see if there's another card that wants to come out. Okay. Just gonna take out both of these. A 
okay so we have also um heaven on earth here and we have the rebel so i think here that you know um it it's almost like you need to stop being the rebel or stop fighting or stop um working against what is around you whether it's just or unjust whether it's it requires you to fight or stand up it's almost like what is more important this week as you go along is to be able to reconcile yourself with your own peace and what is okay for you where you know to reconcile yourself with your for with what you believe to be divine and sacred and to um and understand where is that sacredness in yourself and where is that connection to that which is divine or that which is better than or greater than uh inside of you perhaps not better than but greater than and and to step away from this energy of conflict and you know having a particular mindset and being stubborn about that mindset and and needing to fight because this week as you go along you need to be able to rejuvenate yourself and to be able to give yourself a reminder of what your true essence is and to let go of these other emotions for a little while you can pick up on that a little later all right i'm going to leave it at that and i i'm wishing you a good week please stay safe and healthy and well and many blessings to you all and so for those of you who've chosen the third option here we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance what is it that you've come here to hear And this is a card that's come up a couple of times now. Um, and the card is a losing. It's the number 60. And it means the solution. This is a card that's also come up a couple of weeks ago when I've done this, um, this reading. Wow, this is incredible because all these cards came up a couple of weeks ago um, when I when I did this reading. Um, and it's just interesting that it comes up again. So it's obviously things that you are dealing with and working with at this moment. So here we have a solution to um, a situation where you feel like you're, being, you're sacrificing yourself. Okay, and it might be that you're sacrificing yourself with regard to something that has to do with family, with something where you are feeling like you you don't have a choice but to give of yourself, where you don't have a choice but to be loyal to family values, perhaps, or to family members. And it's a sense that you need to find a solution um, for this because it feels like there's, there's like way too much stress on you and you need healing from it or you need some kind of nurturing or some kind of, um, be, you know, being able to look after yourself. It also feels like it could not, not have to deal with family. It could be where you feeling like you've sacrificed a lot to be where you are right now and you need to be able to overcome that. But it's almost like you're in a cycle where you're locked into it and you're not able to come overcome it so I feel here that regardless of whatever it is this week it's talking about being able to find a solution to this and the way in which you, your solution lies in being able to give yourself um, some of the healing some of that nurturing some of that care and um, and delicate touch that you've needed that you've actually that's going to help you shift that's going to help you shift vibrationally it's going to help you shift you know on a physical level as well i just want to go ahead here and see if there's another card that comes out for you because i'm quite amazed at how these cards are very similar to what's come up um a few weeks ago It's a card here called Deenan. Okay, so Deenan is to serve. It's to be of service. It's to have, it to serve. Um, well, it's in the form of to serve. So it's interesting here because it's almost like, you know, it's serving that's feeling, making you feel oppressed or making you feel locked in or, or giving you the sense that you are, you are not free enough or giving you the sense that perhaps you've given too much in a particular situation. 
And I feel here that the advice is to continue to serve. It's con- it's to continue to give of yourself. So it might be that, you know, you need to give of yourself in another way. It might be that you need to serve from a different space inside of you, that you need to approach this from a different place inside of you. Yes, you still are going to be giving or um, giving of yourself. At least that's what it would appear to be. Um, or at least that's how you would feel it would it is. But you need to be able to give from a different space inside of you and not giving off yourself in in terms of, um, you know, losing yourself in the process, but rather um, serving from a place um, that's perhaps um, where you are in a way that's allowing you to serve your soul. It's allowing you to serve your own purpose and to serve your own being. So I would say the advice here this week is to actually think about how to nurture yourself and how to give yourself a little bit more right now, how to look after yourself a little bit better, to um, simply, you know, give care to yourself. And then also to think about how you can approach all of this within the context of serving yourself, within the context of serving your sole purpose and looking after that and, and making sure that you feel well with what you're doing, or what you have to give for yourself, because whatever you're doing right now, it makes it feels like it's a sacrifice, and it feels like you are locked into it, and that you don't have a solution out of it. It's almost like a karmic debt that you have to pay. And I feel here that if you if you find a way to be able to do this, uh, where you feel you you are serving yourself, um then you're going to be able to find a way out of this and it's going to be much easier for you. And you're going to be able to um, to, to basically feed yourself and give yourself something more than you've need, than something more than you've been giving yourself until now and something that you've needed. I think here as well that the focus needs to shift um, from, you know, what you're doing needs to be not that you're doing it for someone else, but you're doing it for yourself. And if you can understand it in that context, then you can feel a lot better. And I feel like for some of you, if you're dealing with that, and if this resonates with you, you're almost asking this question, well, how can it be? How can it be? And I think that's the challenge this week. It's to be able to find out how can I make this work for me? How can I actually uh, make this be for me so that it serves me first and foremost? And then ultimately, it serves those around me because I'm serving myself, All right? So that sounds a little bit like a challenge. It does sound like um, quite um, a difficult part to walk. Um, but I feel like the solution here is is what you know, is, is to serve and is to give, but to give to yourself. And I think that it's important here to note that you need to work towards the solution. You can't continue to stay in a state where you are locked in this karmic sacrifice circle because this is not going to actually help you to develop further or to be able to move to the next level. And uh, so I think here you need to, you know, work on, that solution even if you just tell yourself listen I'm going to find a solution so that I can look at the situation differently or so I can serve myself in this and I can serve my sole purpose and this is still going to be of assistance to others and I'm not going to feel like I'm sacrificing myself in the process then at least if you tell yourself that it's you're going to find that you you're going to be working towards it without even realizing it all right so I'm going to leave you with that and I hope that that has been resonant and it actually is going to help you as you go along in this week um i'm wishing you a very good week as you go along please stay safe and healthy and well and many blessings to you all blessings abound from kismet rising